Carolina leaders are taking steps to curb gun violence with a new director for the State Office of Violence Prevention starting today. And the new leader steps up just as prominent voices in D.C. speak out against gun crimes. Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell is live in Uptown Charlotte with a look at the renewed calls for change. Savannah, good morning. Good morning, Julian and Ann Wyatt. July 4th and 5th statistically see more mass shootings than any other day of the year. That's over the past decade. Now, those recent mass shootings, as Julian, as you just described, we saw in Baltimore, in Fort Worth, in Philadelphia, that's all prompting renewed calls uh, from leaders in D.C. They're giving some pretty strong reactions. Some Democrats say yet again that it is time for people to do more than send condolences to the family. You see the uh, chairman of the Gun Violence Prevention Task Force in Congress says he and fellow veterans in Congress know firsthand what it takes to keep weapons out of the wrong hands. We've also had combat veterans speak out uh, after uh, terrible, terrible mass shootings in their district, but that speaking out lasts about a minute. Uh, they speak out on it, and then all of a sudden uh, they're nowhere to be seen when we're trying to uh, pass legislation. Some gun control advocates are trying to take momentum that they felt last session. That's when Congress passed the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act. It was voted on last June after the shooting in Uvalde, Texas. It ended a 30-year stalemate on gun legislation. Now, as Ann Wyatt mentioned, there is a new state leader stepping in to try to curb that gun violence right here in North Carolina. We're going to explain their goals and a little bit more about this new leader's background coming up within our next hour. Reporting live in Uptown, Savannah Rudisell, Queen City News.